minutes, 19 points. You know, Tracy McGrady scored nine points in 30 seconds. So, no, I wanted to, I didn't want to do wholesale. And then I little by little took two out. And then when I did want to get him and Jabari out, he was at the free throw line. So he stayed in the next two possessions. Coach, you took a three-point lead into the halftime. And then it seemed like you all stayed in the locker room a little bit longer than normal. What was your halftime speech to them? You came out and I scored them. I think it was like 77 to 58. Yeah, we did, but you know, my my message was we're playing with the game, messing around with the game. You know, we're scoring high enough clip, but we got a guard, um, and so uh, didn't come out great. You know, got technical and they went on, and I think went up five at that point. But um, so we didn't come out great, but then from, flipped it from there. So maybe it was my technical that helped them get that uh, motivation going. But yes, to your point, I think uh, forty-one twenty-five in that third quarter. You know, finally turned around after a slow start coming out, and just you know, it's, it's what I was talking about before the game. The natural letdown sometimes with guys not playing, and you know, they shot above their means for the first half. I think they're two, ten for eighteen at some point, and finished fifteen for thirty-nine. So they went five for twenty-one second half, and that kind of came back to uh, the norm. But you know, you got to help them out. And teams are confident when guys aren't playing, they're going to step up carefree, and we didn't do a great job of contesting early. It's kind of buried in the stat sheet, but Jock Landale had a career-high seven blocks. What did you think of his effort tonight? Yeah, it was great. I think we acknowledged him in the, in the locker room there about that. And he was part of the unit that really got us going from an energy standpoint. So, um, you know, meeting guys at the rim, you know, making the right play in there and um, deterring shots as well if he didn't block it. And so I think uh, him, Aaron, uh, that group that came in kind of built the lead up there when Fred went out. Um, tweaked his ankle a little bit and so they, they, they were great with the juice combined them with Jalen and Jabari and it was a good unit that really uh, had the right energy uh, that we were lacking early. Jock was a big part of that. You've been talking a lot about Jalen reading defense as well. When they switched to the double team, the trapping of him, how do you feel about the way he, he didn't get impatient with it but played aggressively anyway? Yeah, it was good. I think he picked his spots. He invites that and he knows if he just makes a correct pass to the pocket, you're going to have numbers behind it. So found Jock Jabari and some guys in there. And from there, you know, we had layups or wide, out, wide open kick out three. So if they're going to try to take you out, um, you, you know, you can be the bait there and get everybody else looks. That's great. Uh, but at times he also uh, rejected and beat the double team at times. So it wasn't too aggressive to try to get around it. He made the right play, whether that was driving or, or passing it and uh, showing more growth because he's, he's, you know, him and others have struggled at times against double teams early in the season. What did you think Amen did well tonight to earn his career high 25? Yeah, activity. I think, um, especially when they go zone, he's really good in the middle. You know, he can pass and then, you know, one dribble, he's right at the rim. And so he did a good job there. But uh, his activity was great. I felt him on the offensive glass, kind of cleaning everything up when we were, we had some lulls early. You know? And so one thing we did really well against him was rebound, offensive rebound last game. And he was a big part of that. And so, yeah, just more of the same, you know, taking advantage of opportunities and playing with different lineups. and. Uh, He's been great in the pocket, setting screens and rolling. Like I said, he's so athletic. He catches in there. He can make the play and be right at the rim. And so learning different ways to impact it and continue to grow. Coach Jenna came out came out hot in the first quarter, but then they started to double him in the second and third quarter. Mm -hmm. Midway through the third quarter, he had only had three shot attempts, and then he went on a personal 7-0 run. But during that time, he was also making sure his teammates got involved. Is that the evolution that you're seeing from him? Yeah, that's what I was kind of spoke about where he was – uh, making the right read regardless. And, and if you're rolling like he was, the team's going to try to take you out. You just have to make the right play and um, you, uh, use yourself as bait to get everybody else shots. And so he hit the guy in the pocket and he made the right pay, play. Uh, if he got it back, he attacked. Sometimes he tried to split it and beat the double team. He still did that well. So, yeah, he didn't force anything, let it come to him and um, made the hockey assist. In addition, to the, in addition to the things you've talked about, how much of what we're seeing from him these last few weeks it's just confidence that he just feels better. That's the main thing, regardless of whatever reads or whatever. You have to be confident to knock down those shots or take them if you make or miss a few. And he's done that. And so we always stress taking the right shot regardless of the result. And um, when he's taking those shots without thinking about it, you know, reading the defenses and being aggressive, especially the pace that we've picked up and played with that faster pace, I think it, that gets him in the open court. He sees some easy ones go down, and then the basket kind of opens up for him. And so, uh, yeah, we'll live with the results if he takes the right one. And uh, that's across the board, but he's really uh, been aggressive, and you can see his confidence skyrocket when he one or two goes down. Coach, another player that's uh, probably going to get buried in the stat sheet is the way that Jabari Smith played tonight. He had another double double. What is it about him just doing that dirty work? 
Yeah, especially at the five now. So, you know, I don't think you, you get buried when you got 18 and 14. But, you know, him and, like I said, him and Jalen were a big part with the second unit guys that came in and brought the energy. And so, um, you know, quietly went about his business. Uh, you know, four offensive rebounds and all the things he does besides switching and guarding some bigs. And, you know, Rashawn Holmes, a little, kind of a load down there on the block. So he did a good job fighting him there. But, yeah, I thought he was really good with uh, Jalen and the backups. And that, that unit really got us lead in the third quarter.